Right, let's move on to news from Kenya now, where the police have killed at least 11 people in a crackdown on the opposition-backed protests. This just today after President Kenyatta's re-election. The violent protests erupted in Nairobi after the announcement of the election results on Saturday. Now, Odinga supporters have rejected the election results and has taken to the streets to protest. Opposition National Super Alliance of Kenya, led by Raila Odinga, has put the death toll at more than 100, which includes 10 children. Now, the NASA have not provided any evidence to back its claim. We want to confirm that over 100 innocent Kenyans have been killed, 10 of them children. Police also so far it their bodies away, putting them in bags, in gun bags, to hide evidence of unfolding brutality. Now, a former UN head, Kofi Annan, has issued a statement warning Kenya's leaders to be careful with their rhetoric and actions in this tense atmosphere. The NASA have rejected poll results even before the winner was announced, claiming that the elections were hacked. In of this general state, there have been erratic incidents of lawlessness in a few places, such as uh, Kibera in Nairobi and parts of Kisumu County. In these places, reports indicate that criminal elements have attempted to take advantage of the situation to loot and destroy property. The security forces have reported that they have responded appropriately and they have restored normalcy in most of these parts.